Ni vicious What is up you guys? So today I'm deciding to film a Valentine's Day chit chat makeup tutorial. I thought this would be really fun to film with Valentine's Day right around the corner. So if you want to find out how to do this fun makeup look then please keep watching so i just put my hair back because i don't want it to get in the way so i like to put this tape where my shadow line is going to be just so it's a nice clean crisp line i'm going to start with the eye so the first thing i'm going to do is, is prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm obsessed with these. This is like the only eyeshadow primer that I like to use. It's literally so nice. So since it's a Valentine's Day, it makes a pink and red look. The first shot I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Nocturnal Palette. This pink color right there called Fireball. And I'm gonna be putting this all over my um, eye, focusing it more in the crease, bringing it up to the brow bone. So then I'm taking the Anastasia Rovina palette and taking this color Love and putting that kind of in the same spot, so kind of into the crease. Go in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, this color called Antique Bronze, and put that in my crease, focusing it more on the lower part so you can still see the pink up top. <laughs> into the color love letter in the modern renaissance palette put this um, on the outer part into our crease and more into the outer corner is so important when you're doing looks with a bunch of bright colors you don't want the colors to look harsh or like they don't belong I'm gonna be mixing um, Vietnam red and red ochre like to define the outer corner a little bit and a little we're going to be taking next on a tiny little brush. We're going to be going in with the Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is the um, this is the Bling Boss one. And I'm going to be taking the color Sparks. Is this reddish color right here. And then mixing it with the color Passion from the Norvita. And I'll put that up and crease a little. <laughs> Making sure to still blend it, even though this brush is small. Take this color bling bling from the Bling Boss palette. I take this color because it has a, it's not like pink, but it does have a little bit of a pinky tone to it. Next, we're gonna move on to eyeliner. I don't do eyeliner for an everyday basis, but I like it for one, I'm doing more dramatic eyeshadow looks because I think it looks better with false lashes, in my opinion. I like to leave my tape on when I do my eyeliner, so then um, I can just put the wing on the tape or over the tape, and it creates a perfect line. is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. I've been using this eyeliner for probably like a year-ish, a little more now. I've used um, like 
high-end or prestige eyeliners, whatever you want to call it. And they work the same as that one. I really like the steel one if you're looking for more of a higher-end option. But if you're looking for a drugstore, the L'Oreal one is my favorite. And the way I position my tape, I always get a little bit shadow under my eyes, which I don't take off. I don't try to rub that off because I'm going to be putting shadow under there. Now I'm going to move on to my face. I do my makeup in a really weird order. And I don't do my eyelashes or mascara yet. I'm weird. I'm gonna prime my face and this is the NYX first base um, primer and then for foundation I'm gonna use this real techniques blending sponge and I've been liking to mix it too so I've been mixing this Tarte Amazonian clay foundation and a new Morphe uh, matte one. I like mixing these two just because uh, it gives me good color and I like the coverage that they give me. Balsam is in. <laughs> um, also, I want your recommendations down below on if a beauty blender is worth it because i've been using the real technique sponges for so long just because i haven't wanted to pay 20 ish dollars for a blending sponge when these are really reasonable and i like them because i'm just curious <laughs> So next, I'm going to put on my concealer. I'm just going to be using the Morphe concealer. That, and this is the shade 155, if you're curious. Let's put this on my under eyes to brighten it up. And my nose. Since that, this one's more for highlighting my face and covering, I'm going to be taking the Benefit fake up concealer to put over um my breakout one that in it still is a little light but it's it was so hard trying to pick a color from the foundation and the concealer because like you know, they weren't in stores. The foundation color I got doesn't match exactly, um, but I tried. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Ulta uh, Mineralized Powder Foundation, and I love to set my face with this, um, just because I have pretty dry skin, so this way it doesn't dry out my skin too much, and it gives me a little extra coverage while still setting my face. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna contour. Today I'm going to be using the Tardiest Pro Glow and take, can't even see what color this is because my palette's so dirty, but the lighter color and the darker one in this palette is a cream and then the lighter one is a powder. And then I put this a little on my jawline. I don't go as heavy on my jawline, but and just on my around my forehead and then this part i don't know what this part of my face is called the same palette so i'm gonna go um with a more on a defining brush and take the darker color just put that a little over top of the contour we already did and then i'm gonna go back in the lighter color on the same brush and just do it on my nose i'm not super big into um contouring my nose so that's just like all i do and that's it for that coming with the benefit this is the cheekiest sweet spot palette and then, honestly i'm just gonna mix them all together this is the dandelion bella bomba and coralista i haven't been using blush and then i recently pulled this palette back out the other day and going to put my eyelashes on. I'm gonna be using the strips by Ardell, I think. These are the wispy ones. I'm 
Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So this is Astasia Brow Powder. I have really dark eyebrows. So, and they're pretty thick, so I don't fill them in too much. I just always have to fill in the front part a little, and then the end part. Just watch um, some of them watching. Her name's Olivia. Just watch her video, and she like tinted them with like beard dye or something which i really want to try and i'm scared i'm like messing up or something but to finish our eyes up so we're gonna do the um, lash line the inner corner and the brow bone with my anastasia palette and take go in with um antique bronze first oh really lightly and then go love letter with this the same brush right over it pencil like brush and mix the vietnam red and red ochre together and focus that more on the outer part for my brow bone i'm going to take a flat shader brush and take the color wild child in the norvina palette like that and just and then Highlights. We're gonna be taking the Laura Gallagher highlight in the shade Gilded Honeys. Looks like that. Put this on my cheekbones. On top of my nose, on my lips, and then a tiny little bit on the inner corner. Now we have to do some mascara on our bottom lashes. I switch up between these two mascaras is the superhero mascara by it and the l'oreal von luminous so i'm just gonna use the l'oreal von luminous two favorites right now so i didn't like the lip color that i just put on so i try to take it off but kind of already stained my lips i'm gonna go over it with the bite cosmetics lip crayon in the color um glaze and yeah, the color that I have on um, was just like um, too pink for the look. I'm just going to go over top of it with the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Pumper. Someone told me this ain't love. Much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this look and i hope you have an amazing valentine's day and spend it with people you love if you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe i'm really working on uploading a video um every single wednesday and trying to grow my channel and i'll see you guys next wednesday girl you should wear a name tag